I'm going to take a break from talking about politics for a few minutes because there is something happening in our society. It's been happening for a while. I feel like it's reached new heights and I just have to address it because somebody's got to and it bugs me. There is a lot of songs about butts on the radio right now because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass. My aunt kinda don't, my aunt kinda don't, what, none, unless you got buns, hun, huh? What, you got big, big booty, big, big booty. You get the gist of the songs, I hope. Songs about butts are nothing new. Sir Mix-a-Lot couldn't even lie about liking big butts. But what is new is these songs are being applauded for promoting body positivity. Now I'm all about owning what you have, either accept what you got or you know try to work to change it. Before I continue so you know where I'm coming from, I've been underweight pretty much all my life. I've never had a problem with eating, I eat normally. I've actually struggled to gain weight. I'm not asking for sympathy or people to feel sorry for me. I'm fine with myself, but I find so much of the whole body positivity, body acceptance thing to be so hypocritical and I just want to point it out. Because some of these popular songs really do not deserve the body positivity label. Here are some lyrics from All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. She says, referring to her mother, of course, Boys like a little more booty to hold at night. You know I won't be no stick figure silicone Barbie doll. I'm bringing booty back. Go ahead, tell them skinny bees that. Well, thank you, Megan, for letting me know that you are, in fact, bringing booty back. I didn't even know that booty had left, nor did I know that sexy had left and had to be brought back in 2006 by Justin Timberlake. I'm getting mixed messages from you, though, because you say I'm perfect from the bottom to the top, but apparently what matters is men, they like the boom boom to chase. And then there's Nicki Minaj's Anaconda. Here are some of the lyrics. F the skinny bees, F the skinny bees in the club. Wanna see all the big fat butt bees in the MF club. F you, F you skinnies bees, what, yeah, yeah. I got a big fat butt, come on. Wow, nothing says body positivity and encouraging women to accept their body type like saying F you, F you skinny. Well, at least it's not passive aggressive, it's pretty direct. It's not really surprising that those songs are being applauded by some in the whole body positivity, body acceptance movement because that movement has always had a strong anti-thin streak. Rather than a positive message of accepting all body types, many people have put down naturally thin women as a way to uplift themselves. Such as, real men like curves, only dogs go for bones. Oh, okay, I, I guess all my significant others have actually been dogs. Screw society, this is more attractive than this. Really nice of you to tell a woman in a bathing suit that she is not as attractive as Marilyn Monroe. Real class act. Real women have curves. Yeah, I'm imaginary. I don't have enough boom boom to qualify as a real woman just yet. Maybe one day though. Zero is not a size. Uh, should I wear clothes that are too big for me so you feel better about yourself? Curves, because nobody likes to snuggle a stick. Nobody wants to snuggle with me. Don't tell me you're for body positivity and then you go on and bash other women's bodies. That about covers it. If you're going to be for body positivity, then be for body positivity for all body types, not just a select few. 